So we, we received the request from uh, Gazprom uh, about the payment conditions, and we are analyzing those at the moment, uh, and we are trying to find sanction conform solutions, how to bring this forward. Uh, we're in the middle of this work, and at this point, I can't comment on what the outcome will be of it. Um, on the supply of gas for Europe, I think we should be rather clear uh, that in the short run, uh, it will be very difficult for Europe, uh, if not impossible, uh, to substitute the Russian gas flows. Uh, so this can be a medium to long-term development, but in the short run, uh, I think uh, we need to stay focused and make sure that we keep also European industry, European households, supplied uh, with gas. So, so just to confirm on that last point, and I know you've made the point, but I want to make it very clear, there is no way that Europe can find substitute gas, whether it's LNG, whether it comes from the Mediterranean or from the United States, there's no way it can find those substitutes in the next 12 months. It depends uh, a bit country by country. Of course, some countries have this possibility, but if you look at the total European uh, picture, the quantities just work out in such a way that we will not be able to substitute in the short run the full quantity with European production or imports from other sources. The capacity currently is not here. It can be built up over, over time, uh, but in the short run, this is not possible. And I just want to highlight it will be critical because it will have significant, it could have significant impact on our economy, on the running of industry, uh, because we depend on the availability of energy for this. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.